Humanity, I have come to you from beyond the stars. Reveal yourselves and teach me the ways of your people. What? You've got here too late. There's, like, no humans left. What about that fleshy thing wriggling around at your feet? I'm the fleshy thing. Ah, my apologies. I thought I was talking to that noble Conadorn gentleman riding the quadruped. Him? He died, like, 200 years ago. It's a bit morbid that you parade his corpse around like that, but okay. Where are all the others? They're all dead. Decimated. They blew themselves off the face of the earth, like, three months ago. What? I missed out on humanity by three months? Really? Oh, I'm sorry. I took a bad left at the Andromeda Galaxy. Added about two million years to my arrival time. Wound up in a rough neighborhood, too, so that was just great. Loved that for me. Yeah. It happens. Well, shit. So, who are you, anyway? I'm Ali. I'm a life coach. Or, I used to be, up until about three months ago. Why did you quit? Market's a bit, uh, dead nowadays. I tried, at first, but, well... Guys, guys! Please! There is enough food to go around. Is this who we really are? Animals killing each other for scraps? Remember who you used to be. And you'll realize, together, this new world can be so much more. She's right. This isn't us. We're better than this. Yeah. We're no bad guys, even the new. God, fighting for scraps, tin cans in the dirt. What was I thinking? You know, before all this, I was a CEO. Really? I used to be a communist. Yeah, so it didn't really work out. What about you? Are you a career monolith, or...? Oh, you know how it is. I'm just your average, unfathomable obsidian megastructure trying to make his way in this crazy universe. But I'm afraid my eons of life haven't amounted to much. At my age, my progenitors had already fused, and the lattices were forming nicely. Every time I bump into old friends from my years in the magma pits, they tell me of all the shards they've accrued and the many fractals they're spawning, and I just have to hum politely, for I have no shards to speak of, no fractals of my own. Of course I could adopt, but that's a whole process, and I don't know if I'm ready for that kind of commitment. It's just every day on that planet drives me insane. I came here because I thought maybe you humans would have it figured out. I thought maybe I'd learn something. I thought maybe I'd be something here. I just wanted something more. Wanted something more. Sounds familiar. This was a nice planet. You know, you would have loved it. <sighs> Bird song ringing out from every tree, perfect snow-capped mountains, oceans so vast they would take your breath away just looking at them. Yeah, we had it pretty good. But of course, it wasn't enough. We tore it up and paved it down. We bitched and moaned about it. <laughs> then we set fire to it and bombed it, and as if that wasn't enough, we dropped nukes onto it. What's a nuke? A nuke is a bomb that vaporizes entire cities into giant pillars of flame. Ooh. No, that's a bad thing. Oh. No more trees. No more birdsong. No more mountains, just craters. No more oceans, just empty wastes. And no one left alive to blame. So if you want to know about humanity, there's your story. If your world is anything like mine, just care about it. Wake up every day and... We don't actually sleep. And spend every day treasuring the crystals or magma pits or whatever passes for birdsong. 
And whenever you feel like complaining about the monolith weather, or your monolith job, or bitching about your monolith co-workers and their boring monolith lives, just take a minute to appreciate how wonderful it is you get to experience any of it in the first place. And if you can convince others to do the same, well then, your world could be so much more. You carry much wisdom, human. And though we have known each other for but an instant, you have taught me much about positive mindsets and living my best life. Though I must now leave you and your world behind, your teachings may yet change the course of my life and, perhaps, the lives of my people. A gift to remind you that even now, there's some light left in this world of yours. Thank you, Coach. Give me that fucking lemon!